Hello, YouTube. Hello, 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 YouTube. How's YouTube doing? I might look, I might look a little wrinkled. I ain't I do. I don't like ironing my clothes. I like to dry them, fold them, and they come out like this, wrinkled up. But it is what it is. I have to wear this color for my deliveries that I do. I'm sorry, I had to see what's up with this traffic. 18 wheeler. Traffic all backed up. Sorry, I'm sorry, I was distracted. When I see traffic backed up like this, an 18 wheeler back there must have overturned. But anyways, let's talk about it. Respect. Respect has been abused for a very long time. Respect goes a long way with yourself and others. I really, really, really am really high on respect. Now, not everybody gonna give you respect. Don't, don't even... You know, don't even look for that all the time. It's so sad that we have to deal with this all our lives because Satan got so much of humanity under a spell. It's a lot of people still sleep and they have not woken at all. And it's a lot of people that feel like they don't have to respect anyone or anything. They don't even have to respect the commandments of our father. That's when you really know that that person is really under a spiritual attack because their respect level is really low. I'm in a process of getting this business off the air. I'm, I'm, it's going gradually, slowly. I love to take things slowly so I know all the hard work that I put into it came from nothing but the Father. I try not to go before Him. I try not to go ahead of Him. I try not to overthrow Him. I always allow the Father to walk me to anything He want me to walk into. When He show me that that's not the door I need to be in, I don't tarry around in it long. I don't scramble around it. I don't try to make it fit. I used to do that all my life, trying to make things fit, trying to make things, you know, come in agreement with whatever I'm doing. That's not how I move anymore. Because since the Father had given me His Holy Spirit, since I know that the Holy Spirit is teaching me, when the Holy Spirit show me something three or four times, I already know it's not for me. I don't try to force it. And when somebody is so disrespectful to anyone in life, why do you immune yourself or why do you train yourself to take such disrespect? If a person cheat on you one time, they know that that was wrong. If a person tear you down with their words one time, they know that that is wrong. If someone mentally abuse you more than one time, you know that that is totally wrong. If somebody physically abuse you, you know that that person is not respecting you nor their self. And for so long, we've been immune. We've been shaped into nothing but abuse. It's, it's to a point now, and it's like, when are you going to stop allowing someone to abuse you? Because it's you allowing such disrespect to come into your life. Now, my lifetime, I was coming up, I would not allow it, even though... I stayed in relationships. I had three main relationships. Three. My first husband, my second husband, which we was only married eight months. That wasn't even a marriage. We should have went on and throw the towel in before we even waste our time 
saying some vows that I don't even remember. I can't even tell you how to say marriage or vows. I don't even know where it come from. I, don't even, I didn't even pay it no attention because reality, I was not intended. That, well, I'm going to put it like this. Both times that I got married, I did not plan it. The man planned it. Throw it out of a, out of out of nowhere. Surprise! We get married today. Really? I'm being honest with you all. I did not ask to get married because my marriage that I wanted to do. Well, I didn't ever think about marrying anybody. Re reality, honesty. I didn't. I didn't think about marrying no one. Excuse me, because this man is driving too crazy, bro. We in a construction area. But anyways, he just driving, through, they speeding 50, 60 miles and they know it's a constructing area. But anyways, that's what I'm saying, paying attention. Even though I'm making my video, I make sure I keep my eyes on the road. But I didn't know this man was going to just jump over here in my lane. But he did. But, you know, that's just trying to, you know, not paying attention. And that's what we have. Hazard reported ahead on Ocean Gateway in 900 feet. You're still on the fastest route. I don't know if y'all can hear my um, GPS going, but I'm on a I'm on a delivery mission right now. But anyways, it's it's really really it's really really old now. Like I got a Facebook page now, and I got a TikTok page. I'm I'm learning TikTok, but you know, really reality is too much social media for me. I, I'm not one to care for social media. I might look at a couple of videos on YouTube because YouTube you can tell. The ones that's really sincere in what they're doing. And then I look at some and then they're not sincere. Because, I, you know, you get that first impression. But you got to keep looking at that person. I learned that. Like, I, I goes off of first impressions. But the first impressions ain't the true impressions. I found that out. So, I don't play with it no more. First impressions, you got to, you got to marinate yourself into that person's impression. Because... The first impressions is not their true intentions. When you see people get up here on this social media and they pretend to be very inspiring, they, they pretend to be very empathetic, very compassionate, very um, understanding, trying to get you to um, overcome something, you got to watch that because everybody don't do that from a passion heart, a passionate heart, a compassionate heart. They do it for opportunities to grow big in the world, to get a lot of views, to get a lot of subscribers. I learned this because I was on YouTube and I guess they give you the ones that um, have a lot of subscribers or however it go. And the guy was up there expiring everybody. I think he had four point some million and I asked my oldest son, I was like, what does that mean when they got that much? He was like, they are uh, internet celebrities. And I'm like, really? So one day, I, you know, he was saying everything that sounds really great to a person that's going through something. Or he gave great motivation to a person that give them a little bit of confidence. That's not how you heal. A little bit of confidence ain't going to heal a whole multitude of wounds that little bit of confidence is not gonna heal all the wounds you've been wounded with them scars that them scars that done rip you apart a little bit of motivation ain't gonna do it i don't care if you reading i don't care if you listen to a thousand videos a day it's not gonna heal you that takes a lot of work when you're so wounded and you so you so torn apart that takes the Messiah in heaven, Jesus the Christ, to heal all demonic wounds. People don't realize that. They look at a lot of thousand, a thousand different videos. Like when I when I came up in my when I went in my wilderness, when the Father called me in 2019 in June, I had no clue I was encountered. I had an encounter with. Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I never thought, no, I don't know what I was thinking anyway. I just thought that I was, something was in my house. I, you know, I used to watch a lot of horror movies. I thought I was hallucinating. I thought, oh, I don't know what I thought, but I did not have no idea 
that it was Jesus the Christ, the Holy Ghost in my room, the Heavenly Father. I was like, when I start, it was like when the Spirit entered inside of me, I would ask a lot of questions. I had a friend at work that me and her was, you know, close, but I never got close to no other female because the sister that I met in my in Lumberton, North Carolina, she passed away with a seizure. She was authentic, but her mother was a, a her mother was a bad influence on her life, a very bad influence. So I didn't I didn't try to get close to nobody else. I love her daughters, but I don't try to get close to no other female. I just don't. But I asked the lady that you know at work. I, we were we were cool to a certain degree. She had a little disrespect on her level too, and I I had to cut her off. Because I don't believe that two people supposed to be close or two people got respect for each other. You know your boundaries. You know your limit. You don't you don't do something to hurt somebody. No, you you you're you you are you are very evil. I'm gonna just put it that way. You are a very evil person. You are not who you are. And you know a lot of people be in competition with you and a lot of people be envious of you and jealous of you. That might for, they might can speak no I ain't jealous of you but they sure show different just know that they show different and I told her I said something that was in my house and she was like what I said something I died I, I literally died in my house I literally y'all died like it felt like I was having brain surgery like felt like somebody was literally pulling my brain up out of my life but it was actually the father in heaven taking all those demonic spirits that was attached to me. that rebirth was something serious that was not a all right okay type of baptism dip me in the water bring me back up wipe my face off with a towel no it was severe and that next morning i felt like i felt weird i never in my life heard of youtube because I never in my life had a cell phone. I always made sure my children had everything and I will go without. This is all my life. I always made sure people that I love have everything and I always went without. I was never a social media type of female just wasting time strolling on those social media. I was always about work. I was always about priorities. I was always about discipline. I was always about growth. I was connected to the Father at one point and I disconnect because I went to this church and it was uh, dumb demons in there was so severe. I just disconnect because I was like, these people playing two different types of lives. If they say the Father in heaven is a beautiful, loving person, why is they acting like he is an evil spirit? So I disconnected from the church altogether and didn't think no more about it. I start going into the world, but the father came back for me. That's one thing I love about my father in heaven. He came back for me. He knew what I had to go through for this day. He knew what my future and what my future from now, from my future, what my future back then to now what's gonna hold and what's from then to whatever gonna hold for me in the future he knew that's why i don't never question him about anything why not father why this for i don't i go every day i get up i ask the father in heaven the messiah yeshua hamashiach jesus the christ or the royal hakodesh i ask the three godheads i say and i definitely tell the holy spirit because he leads us i say please lead me and guide me Every day, lead me and guide me. Show me where you need me to go. Show me where you need me to be. And certainly give me the words to say. I tell him this all the time when I pray on a daily basis. And as time was going from 2019 to now, I have grown away and into a lot of things. I have grown away. And I have grown into a lot of things. I have grown away from a lot of evil things in my life. I don't feel not one pain. Only pains I feel time to time is my children 
and the portals that they're still are in. And I do a lot of praying on that. I do a lot of fasting. Now, some days I don't fast. I, I feel like I just want to eat or something like that. Now I'm on an eating pattern where I eat a lot of fruit. I eat a lot of veggies. I make sure I take my time to grow into something. I don't rush myself into growing into nothing. I take my time, like the Father say, patience, patience, patience really matter. A lot of people don't think patience matter, but patience really matter. Patience truly matter. Patience grow a lot of respect for the Heavenly Father, for yourself, and for others. Patience. And yes, we know the father, the father timing is different than our timing, but he know when whatever is on time. He he's right on time. Our timing ain't his timing. He don't rush nothing. And I don't rush it either. I love to slowly learn something. I don't care if it take me 10 years, take me a decade to learn it. I want to learn it and learn it the right way. But once you learn something, you just don't learn it and grab it and gasp it all together. You got to slow it. You got to slow walk it. And I slow walk it. I don't rush nothing. Like now with my diet, I know what I got to do. I know it's going to take a minute for the pounds to start falling off. But I want to make sure them pounds fall off in the right ways, in the right areas. Where I'm trying to get it to be. I'm not no sloppy all over the place type of female but i'm a thick female like i'm thick a lot of black women are thick a lot of white women are thick a lot of asian but you know it goes with your body but we have really thick not like as people say fat no i'm thick i'm solid you know and i know that even when i lose i'm gonna be solid because that's how i'm built but i'm not all over the place my body ain't all over the place. You know, all out of shape. No, I'm not none of that. And if I was out of shape, then that would be on me. You feel what I'm saying? That was that's what I was given. Now we all is not going to be one size. We all not we were all not going to be one shape. We were all not to be one color. The father know what he was doing, but Satan also knew what he was doing when he come in and try to make all these comparisons and competitions and all this disrespect nobody no more time nine times out of ten respect nobody that is so bad it's not gotten so bad people think that disrespect is the all-time high no disrespect is the all-time low you are low vibrational person you don't have no respect for yourself none and it's sad it's truly sad truly sad it is truly sad. It is true. It is truly heartbreaking. I just wanted to come up here and say that, because I mean, it, it's it's just it's just spiritually irritating because so many people is broken, but they don't want to put in the work to fix themselves you just don't want to put in the work you don't want to put in the work no type of way you rather remain broken because if you die broken as is written in the father's word that's between you and him he already got it written in the word you can go in the Hebrew version you can go in the Greek version you can go in the English version I don't care what version you're going to but you will not inherit his kingdom with a Merge onto US 50 West. He, he is just not having it. And I don't blame him. Like we can change. You can change. You is no different than we were. We were born in the sin just like y'all were. We were shaped into iniquity just like y'all were. We all were shaped into evil in some type of way. Somebody taught us something wrong, especially if you was brought up in a real narcissistic family, you know you was taught nothing but evil. Only time you was taught good is when they want their way or they want some favors or something, but that's the only time. 
or when they sober and they ain't got nothing in their body to crank them up to a demonic force it's got to stop it's just it just got to stop ain't nobody to blame but yourself i don't blame nobody even though i had some very severe things happening to me or happened to me in my lifetime i wish a demon would nail I wish it in 8.2 miles take exit 37 onto maryland route 8 toward roman coke i wish a demon would i wish a demon would i mean what i say because i'm telling you i done came across some real hard cold-hearted demonic demonic forces through a soul i done i done encountered so much i refuse to let anyone bring evil into my surroundings because I will shut it all the way down and send you and your demon back with y'all heads down. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. I tell a lot of people that's going into the into two, to another two minutes. But I tell a lot of people, a lot of people want to call on other people when they get wrapped up in a lot of foolishness. Why you ain't call on them before you got wrapped up in the foolishness? Now you want to codependent on somebody to deal with your pain that you got to deal with yourself. It's just time out now. And you want somebody to partake in your evilness? No. And a lot of women are good for that. A lot of women are good for allowing not men you might get a couple of men that are just fall for the okie doke but us women we fall for too much of an okie doke it's time for women to get strong like know your know your positions know your positions you ain't got you ain't got to be i'm stronger than a man no you ain't stronger than no man because that's not what the father intended if the father put the woman first he would have that's what he would have had written in his word but men don't want to do their part anymore. They just want to just lay low. No, it's time for everybody to get up and know your place. Our Messiah got up and finished it for us. Let's take the vow. Let's take that commitment. And do what you got to do. But I love y'all. I do. It's just heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking at times. Everybody ain't the same. You might hit a 30 women with disrespect. That 31 woman might not take it. You might hit 30 men with disrespect. That 31st man might not take it. Not going to take it. You're not going to be able to run game on everybody. Now, I, like I say, if I do meet a husband or a husband find me or however it go, just know how to approach me. And no, I am, I am all about respect, boundaries, all about love. I accept nothing more, nothing less, nothing but. Because my Father in Heaven is nothing but love and discipline and chastising. And that's how we got to be in our marriages. There got to be some structure. There got to be discipline. All love for the Father, all love for the Messiah, following the Holy Spirit loving one another and then show the world how to show, how to uh, how to possess, possess true love and that's from the almighty father that's all I can say but that's all I had to bring I love I love I love I love I love I love everyone but I refuse to love your evil that's, that's not what I do I detach I block I, I get away from it. Like I say, the Father took me out and put me in something healthy. He cleaned me up within. I refuse to allow another demon to come and, tox and bring more toxicity within me. I don't play no games, but I do produce love. Blessings, much love. And just know, do not accept nothing but love. Anything else is not acceptable in your life.